that I met, who's going to give her just a few moments before we get into the program. So I'm going to get all the preliminaries out of the way. But the international part came, Pastor, before I even understood it. God said that's what to name it. I'm like, I don't know nobody internationally. I don't know people in the United States. And I met this wonderful young lady here, Miss Marcy Baltazar. So this is going to be our first international project is partnering with her. She's a resident of the United States, a resident of the Philippines, and she does such fantastic outreach ministry. Her story just touched me the first time that I met her. She was telling me about, not to give all of her story, but how she goes to the Philippines three times a year, and she takes, I'm not talking about a little bitty box or a bag, but she sends boxes of resources for the families and the children in the Philippines. She was showing me pictures of how she brought boxes of shoes for kids that walk on the streets in the dirt barefoot because they don't have any shoes. So when she told me the work that she does, I was so impressed. I said, God, that is the reason why. Because so often, don't nobody get offended. I've been talking about black people for a minute. <laughs> But so often, as black people, all we do is congregate yes. with one another, yes. and we forget that God made us all. He does not see us any differently. And it's good to step outside of our own culture. It's good to see what's going on, not just in our community, but in other communities and other parts of the world. On last night, she invited us to a great event. It was a Filipino Association event, and it was their 30th. How many people in this room knew that there was even a Filipino American Association here, let alone in existence for 30 years? And you can ask my husband, the Trade Center was crowded with our Filipino brothers and sisters who love the Lord the same way that we love the Lord, who's trying to do good in their community, and who have not forgotten where they come from. Who have not forgotten that, okay, we made it to the United States, but we got brothers and sisters and family that's still struggling and we want to get a hand out. So that's one of the things that we've done is sponsoring and partnering with Ms. Marcy. Ms. Marcy, do you have any words? Maybe a minute or two before we go forward? She's never at a loss for words. <laughs> started my box. She is going to be there through December. And she is going to bless the families with resources like blankets and clothing. And then she was telling me that the children don't have toys. That's how we met. And I'm going to say this a little bit, and I promise I'm going to get on out of the way because I know y'all came to hear some music. But I put an ad online for some Barbie dolls and other toys that were new that I had for sale. And when she came, she called me or sent me a message to buy it. I told my husband, I know. And I started not to return the message. And I started to tell her, look, I'll be there Saturday. It was like a month or two in one of my off days. But God said, go. And I went, and that was how the wonderful connection started. So I've already started my box of toys that we're going to send over to the Philippines. So just think of that. Have that in your mind. Again, we did everything free, but today is a bit of a fundraiser because when we take up the offering, please keep that in mind. That it's not going to my pockets because I'm blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. I promise you, I am blessed. And we just want to be able to do some wonderful work in our community and outside of our community. The second thing, and this will be quick, last year, those of you that came know that God launched a book idea in me, and here is Miss Barbara Pierce, I'm going to be working with her and publishing and getting um, book signing done and helping to promote it, but she came last year, and we got started. How much you been on me? <laughs> but... It seemed like everything started to fall in line. I met Miss Marcy a couple months ago, and I went home, 
And where I was stuck in the book for months, God just started downloading more information. So as of yesterday, my book is officially on sale at Amazon.com. Amen. And the book is called Rescue Me. And I am just going to say it's a phenomenal read. It tells my story. I didn't give any names up. But it tells my story in bits and pieces of how, as a Christian, but this is something that we don't want to talk about in church. But my cousin Bessie, she's one of the people that this book is dedicated to because I went through what I didn't know and understand was depression. And when I called her, I didn't know this woman has got her life together, got a husband, a nice house, a bad car, and she had dealt with the same thing too. So that is why I decided to put my story on paper because you don't have to tell me, but everybody in this room has dealt with something. So it's a great, it's a self-help book, but of course it contains the word and a word of encouragement that will help somebody that's dealing with anything from depression to shame, guilt, anger. You can use it for a Bible study because it's interactive. You'll be able to fill out some worksheets in it. You can use it for a Bible study. You get a discount if you buy 10 or more books, so I suggest you use it for a Bible study. So the sign is outside. Check it out when you get home. Look up Danielle Taylor, Rescue Me on Amazon. Please get the book, and we'll have paper copies available soon. Last thing, and this is where we are now, we're going to get back to the music. <laughs> also, four years ago, y'all see that dude that came out in that corner? <laughs> four years ago, this man swept me off my feet. <laughs> and he swept me on my feet so far. I was actually in the studio. I had started writing some songs for a project. And I'm going to say God put it on pause. Because for a little while I was mad. I was like, this is still <laughs> But God put it on pause. And I'm here today to let you guys know that I have completed two of the tracks. But they're not released yet. And what you guys are going to help us do in this first part, and then I promise you we'll get out of the way, is we're going to do two of the songs. Because I need to know which direction I'm going to go in. I need to know what's good or bad. So that's what the envelopes are for. When they, <laughs> don't tell me out loud, Michael, you might hurt my feelings. <laughs> the envelopes have a small piece of paper in it. So when you listen to the first song that I'm going to do along with the track, and then the other yeah, song, the one live was not. You guys give a big hand to Minister Trey, right? Are you all familiar with this young man who's challenged? You are in for a treat if you have not heard him. But the second original song is a duet. My heart decided to go old school. Like, I don't know, did Chandler Trey Ross sing with Luther Vandross? No. <laughs> but who have? Cheryl Lynn, they told me the other night, but I decided to go old school and do a Christian gospel duet. So in here, I need you guys to tell me which one of those songs you like the best. And when we take up the offering, if you'll just take your little slip of paper and drop it in there, the name of the first song is You Deserve It. The second song is Songs 27. So if you'll just write the name of one song on that paper that was your favorite out of those two. And then the other thing that's in your envelope is a ticket. I have a couple door prizes. I'm going to give you a little bit more than food. I've got two for a man, two for a woman, which means, ladies, get this beautiful jewelry set. It has a bracelet, earrings, and necklace. It also has... I really wanted to keep this one. So just in case somebody lets me back. <laughs> this one has an elephant on it. And it has elephant earrings. Then for the gentleman, there's a Tyrex, spinning cedar Tyrex. And some type of flashlight with toolbox. Because y'all need to be working. <laughs> so we're going to give away a few door prizes later on. But that's what your envelope is for. So you guys will help us. Are you guys ready to hear some more music now? I'm not going to come back with anything else. I'm out of the way. Amen. So this first song is entitled, You Deserve It. Please don't judge my voice. I've been up since 1 o'clock this morning. Y'all make me nervous. Hey, everybody, it's your girl, I am here at the sound of the word. 
is to dwell in the house of the Lord forever to hold his
Come on, say help. Yeah. 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 There's another song that says exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think, according to the power that works you in that scripture. We have any Bible readers? Did anybody believe that he can do abundantly above all that you can ask him for? So that means what you ask him for, he can do above and beyond. Oh, y'all, I am here. My God. And man, this song just says he can do it. He can do it for you. Put your hands together. Thank God.
this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Can we thank God for Mr. Trey right now? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Trey. given to the body of Christ. Well, help me thank God for my beautiful and illustrious wife. Come on, help me celebrate I call God for my call. Come on, help me celebrate Amen. We're excited to be here. And we are here to, in this endeavor, to assist uh, this phenomenal organization uh, to take this ministry internationally and uh, beyond the borders and the parameters of the United States of America. One of the things that God has impressed upon my heart in this season is that what you make happen for somebody else, God will certainly make happen for you. Amen. Amen. And so listen, we're going to give this evening, we have all of these uh, great um, songstress in the building, all of these great singers, all of these dancers, um, listen, uh, it takes finances to fund any ministry. It takes finances to fund any mission. And so uh, we are going to support uh, this, this endeavor this evening. I need every person that can and will. Again, as my wife stated earlier, none of the proceeds will go to us. Uh, this is to further uh, what my beloved in the back is doing in the Philippines. Come on, let's thank God for that. Portion of the proceeds will also go to the Williams girls. We'll come on and thank God for to assist them in going. I think they're trying to go over to London. Is that correct? Amen. They're trying to go to London. So we are excited about what God is doing in the lives of God's people. I need everybody to get a twenty-dollar seat in your hand. Everybody that can and will that will assist me uh, this evening in this offering. Would you please get a twenty-dollar seat to assist? This, these endeavors uh, this afternoon. Twenty dollars is not a lot of money. The truth of the matter is, it used to be that you could go to McDonald's and twenty dollars would feed you for a couple of days. Uh, now twenty dollars will barely get you through the drive-thru. Amen. And so uh, we are excited to uh, give back unto the Lord. So every person that can and that will help us in this endeavor. Uh, you can give by cash, credit card, cash app, give the fly, whatever means you want to give by, uh, they are available unto you. If you wanted to give by cash app, it's dollar sign TLC Columbus. Dollar sign TLC Columbus. If you wanted to give by cash app, if you wanted to give by credit card, uh, you can see. <laughs> I want to make mention of this before we get to the, the meat of this program is do not forget if you can stay please don't go anywhere because we've cooked for you all we leave you have been in church all day long and so even if you're not able to sit and stay we do have a few to go by you can take a plate with you, but we would love for you to sit in fellowship for a few moments if you can. And um, it will be immediately following. Everything's already ready. You don't have to wait for somebody to finish boiling the chicken or anything like that. <laughs> Everything is already ready, so we want to invite you all to stay in fellowship with us. Well, at this time, 
I said we have a very special guest. And then um, after that, we're going to hear from the Williams girls. But where did she go? Oh, she's back there. <laughs> I got a surprise, though. If you don't mind, Jakiria. There's a very, 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 very special lady in the room that has the most angelic voice I have heard. And my head is turned in her direction. I know she knows who I'm talking about because she's trying to hide behind that fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we have time to hear one song from the oh, yeah. 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 And then Jakiri will come here, so I'm not even going to come up. And she'll never spin it. is going to come. And then Michael Williams, you're going to turn over to your yeah. Your girl's hand. Okay, Williams, girls, are you ready? All right. So, Shalom. Can you give us a piece of something? Yeah, 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 Right yeah. Oh Lord, we bless your name And we lift our voices to say thank you for all
that you're going to hear from me until they get finished. I want to thank all of the pastors, everybody who's come out. If I did not mention you before now, I want to thank a very special lady. I was saving the best for last. I want to thank a very special lady, Pastor Laurie. And with four or more radio, I know you guys have seen her out there. She's been broadcasting. She has a live radio show. She's been here since the very beginning. I think she's broadcasting us live as well as live on the show. So we thank God for her giving us this coverage. Come on. Let's give God a great hand of praise on her. And again, all of the pastors, all of the ministers, everyone in your respected places. And I do have to call out one more person. I was saving the best, best, best for last. And this is a wonderful lady that I met earlier this week. She's one of the facilitators in a training that I'm taking. And she met my husband that took the training in May and last year. Or the February in February. Miss Denise, thank you so much for coming and, and sharing with us on this evening. And for everybody that accepted our invitation, my mother is in the house. Wave your hand, Miss Diane. Miss Diane is in the house. My cousin Betsy, because she looking at me. I already said her name, Betsy. And thank you all for coming to visit with us. If I overlook anybody, please hold it to my head, not to my heart. And I'm going to get out of the way. Well, Michael, do you remember when we were these ages and we used to sing together? So what this young man has done is he has passed it on down because of the anointing that's on his life. God is not using his offspring. Y'all will catch that in a little while. But I'm going to get out of your way. And without further ado, Mr. Trinity, you're going to take it away. All right. Let's welcome the movie girls. We thank God for being here in the house of the Lord. We thank God for the angel of this house, Dr. Martha Taylor, for her and her family. Amen. We love God. We love God. Thank you. 
event. And we know that we have all church probably all day long. So we're going to let you out. We're not going to prolong the time. But I do want to remind you all that, again, um, the reason why we've had this event, we've had this event to be a support to the Williams girls and to be a support to my international outreach ministry and I've partnered with another young lady who is doing a great work in the Philippines and please do remember um, that my book was released today Rescue Me, you can get it on Amazon so please do look that up and just remember that we are here at the Life Center and hopefully some of you will get a chance to stay for a few moments and I can talk to you to know you one on one if I don't already know you or the fellowship with you again if I do already know you so I'm just grateful that you all accepted our invitation and last but certainly not least, we want to thank God for the angel of this house who thought it not robbery to allow us to have this event in this facility. None other than Dr. Walter E. Taylor because just because I'm his wife don't mean I'm entitled to have something here because the lights ain't free. I hope you enjoyed it. You were listening to Sound of Worship concert. This concert. The, uh, it was awesome. We thank you for joining us. To my and we'll talk to you soon. Grady. Wave at everybody. I'm going to call your name. You know who you are.